Hey, Design Ninja here. Today, we are going to learn how to make caution tape from scratch in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator, and this is super duper simple. We're going to start by drawing a rectangle. I'm going to flip the stroke and fill, get rid of the stroke. I'm going to grab this and rotate it slightly. Go up to Effects. Distort and Transform, and Transform. From here, we're going to give this uh, about 10 copies or so. Click the Preview. Go up here to the Move area, and we're going to move it horizontally. Oh, let's move it this way. And just kind of eyeball it to be spaced relatively evenly, maybe a little bit farther. Let's draw another rectangle. And this time, let's make this rectangle's fill yellow. Throw that in the background, like so. Uh, so this live effect, if you want to adjust the angle or anything, uh, all you have to do is change the angle of your original rectangle, and you can do it just like so. Very easy. All right, so here's the magic. We can draw a rectangle that represents the size of that we want our caution tape to be. So I'm going to make it like so. Um, I'm going to click and drag and select both the yellow and repeating black rectangle, and I'm going to group them together. Now once these are grouped, I'm going to select the group, then I'm going to select the rectangle I, did, I drew on top of the group, and I'm going to press Command-7 to make a clipping path. And boom, there is our caution tape. And then this is completely editable. If you decide you want to make the caution tape bigger, for example, there's a couple of ways that you can do that. By pressing A, it gives me the uh, control points of the rectangle. Let's say you want to make it bigger, but this doesn't go far enough. That's okay. Just double click on this clipping path and go inside of the contents and let's extend our yellow background. Select our object go up to the appearance palette and this is the transform effect that we added. We'll just uh, select that and click preview if you want to see what you're doing and right here on copies let's put 20. Okay and up in here we'll just click these back arrows and as you can see we made our caution tape larger. You can repeat those steps to make your caution tape as big as you want and um, as a reminder if you would like to adjust the spacing of the yellow and black, you can do that um, by simply grabbing a hold of your original object and changing it. If you want to change the spacing uh, of your ca caution tape, then um, by hitting the A key, direct selection, original object, appearance palette, double click on transform, you can change the spacing right here, click preview, and there you go. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If so, please click like or subscribe to the channel.